Hi everyone, my name is Marius Radulescu and I'm part of the ATIM network team. Today, I will do a short presentation on how you can quickly configure an IPsec tunnel on a LibreS1 CP so you can connect to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This video will be focused on VPN tunnel build and is not the scope of the presentation to provide any other information that is required for the end-to-end -end connectivity. For this exercise, I will use following diagram on which we have on-prem data center on the left side with the trust subnet behind the Libres1 CPE and on the right side, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using dynamic routing gateway. As you know, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure will automatically build two VPN tunnels for each IPsec connection. And in this video, I will build first VPN tunnel using static routing and second VPN tunnel using BGP with Quagga. So in this way, I can show you both configuration. For creating this video, I use following resources. Libreson CP configuration template that can be found on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure documentation portal. And I have already configured Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using documentation provided on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure documentation portal. After all configuration done on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, I have bring together the following information necessary for the correct configuration of Libreson. And now let's configure together the CPE. First of all, we installed Libres1 on the system. After that, we'll enable port forwarding. We verify the port forwarding configuration. Create IPsec configuration file with tunnel one configuration. Create and update PSK file. Restart and verify IPsec status. As you can see, the IPsec tunnel is already up. Now we can check the virtual interface. which is there with the correct IP address and verify the routing table. As you can see, the route is not there, so we need to add it. After we add it, we verify again and we'll see the route is there via virtual interface 01. This will end the first tunnel and let's go and configure the secondary tunnel. First of all, we remove the static route we have added earlier because in this case, Zebra protocol will handle the routing. Install Quagga, apply correct permissions to Quagga, update the configuration file for IPsec with the secondary tunnel configuration. Update PSK file with the second tunnel PSK. Now let's configure Zebra configuration file.
configure bgpd configuration file. And now let's start, enable and restart Zebra and BGPD. And also restart and verify IPsec status. As you can see, we have both tunnels up already, tunnel one and tunnel two. Now we should verify the interfaces to see the VTA2 as there and also VTA1, which was there earlier. Verify the routes and we can see that a route is there via the VTA02 and processed by Zebra. Now we can check in the Quagga configuration to verify BGP. And as you can see, it's up and verify IP routes. And here we can see the BGP is up and uh, is the first uh, route. And we have a backup route as static via VTA01. Now let's emulate a tunnel to VPN down by disabling VTA02. And now we can verify again the BGP. It's down for five seconds now. And if we look at the routing table, we'll see only the route, static route in place. Now, uh, if we exit Quagga and verify the routing table at OS level, we will see that IP, the route, it's over the VTA01 and also applied by Zebra. And this concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching.